Revelation 4162. From the 9th of November 1947. Relationship with God, love or reverence, respect, worship. Every person has the right to decide for himself which relationship he wants to have with me. He can regard me as father, as brother or friend, but he can also only see his God in me, the highest most perfect being, whom he wants to submit to and whose commandments he wants to fulfill because he acknowledges me as the highest power. This latter relationship, however, will never be accompanied by profound love for me in a person but only by awe and admiration, respect and worship. But I want love, I want an intimate relationship with me to be established, for love alone is bliss. How poor a person is who lacks love, and how rich he is who possesses it. I certainly take pleasure in the humility of the one who submits to me as the highest power, who acknowledges me and wants to gain my pleasure. I will also meet him halfway and bestow my love upon him, yet my aim is always to change his attitude towards me into the right relationship. Into the relationship of a child to its father, of a bride to her bridegroom, into the relationship which has love as its foundation. For I can reciprocate this, I can give away that which is my fundamental nature, I can let my love radiate, thus make happy with my fundamental substance which flows as strength towards the object of my love. I can grasp my living creations and draw them to me. I can make them blissfully happy forever. But every human being has free will, I woo his love, his trust and approach him as father by bestowing my care upon him by taking care of him in adversity and distress and constantly granting my grace to him. Yet where my love is not reciprocated in the same way, where the heart does not press towards me with a fervent desire for union with me, where the child does not call for its father and approach him in childlike trust, confidently expecting his help in every spiritual and earthly adversity, there I cannot reveal myself in my fatherly love either although I will always be recognizable as God, as the all-creating and sustaining power, and I will not leave my living creations empty-handed who strive towards me. Nevertheless, I will not cease to woo their love, to push them into the right relationship with me, always respecting free will but nevertheless bringing the human being into situations where he can take refuge with the father as a child and thus establish a trusting relationship and completely win me over for himself. Only then will he progress quickly, because my power of love can now flow into him unhindredly and this signifies the soul's upward development, which is the aim and purpose of his earthly life. Amen.